All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add the MDL header to our WordPress theme. So, material design light, components, layout, navigation layout. So, you can see these different headers up here. So, they provide the markup right here. And if you comp compare this markup to our actual WordPress theme, inspect this. You see that it's wrapped in a UL and then has all these LI items. And if you can compare that to the material design light, you can see that's a lot different. It's wrapped in a nav, it doesn't have the LI unit or the LI elements, it just has these anchor tags. So what we need to do is create a custom walker class. That's the easiest way to go about it because this is a totally different markup than what WordPress outputs. So I've actually done this in uh, MDL WP created this custom walker class in INC then nav walker so what I'm going to do is just going to instead of recreating the will just copy this command A command C and in my theme files I'm going to go into INC and create a new file command V command save and I'm going to call it nav-walker PHP. So now what this is going to do is automatically create the, the markup that we need for material design light. So we go back to our GitHub page and you can see in the header header file there's this git template parts nav so that's where we need to go. Template parts, nav main, and this is what we're looking for right here. So we can grab this code, and then in our header file, instead of this header here, We can paste in this. So you can see it's pretty similar markup. Has menu nav, but instead of using these default array, we actually pass in this walker class. So the last thing we need to do is make sure that our function knows about this new file, nav walker. So nav, and you can see at the bottom they include all these different files down here so we can do the same thing nav walker uh, custom walker menu for material design light save that so let's go ahead and I'm sure we're missing some classes and things like that, but we can go ahead and refresh the page and see what we got going on. So right now it's just duplicating everything. We don't have it's not styled at all. So back in our header file, let's go ahead and comment this out for now. That'll remove that duplication. And then we need to go to MDL and make sure that we have the correct markup and the correct uh, classes. So let's inspect this. You can see here that it's wrapped in a nav and then we have A, a tags going down. So that looks perfect. Looks like it's, it looks exactly like this. MDL navigation and then the A tags with MDL navigation underscore underscore link. So MDL navigation and then MDL navigation underscore underscore link. So the next thing we need to do is just make sure that the classes around it are the same. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy this so we have an example. And in our header file here, put this in here just for now. So the first thing you notice is that everything is wrapped in a div. So let's go ahead and then grab these classes. So we're going to need those. Command copy. You can see here that we have the similar div that's wrapping everything, so we can actually put those classes in here. 
So we got those classes knocked out. Let's go ahead and delete this so we make so we know that we got that done. So we have a header exactly like their header here. So command copy. This one was for the transparent de uh, demo. Transparent up here. I'm going to leave that class out because I don't want our menu to be transparent. So we'll put that class in here. So we have the header now. Header, header. This is for the drawer navigation. Notice we have this main content. So we need to make sure we have main in here. Main actually wraps everything, all the content. So I want to put it around this. Grab this file as well. Grab this line of code and go into the footer and right there before the page closes. Tab that over, make it look a little bit nicer. Save that. All right, so we got all that done. So it looks like now we just need this row here. The header and then So we need to make a whole row that wraps the navigation. Oops, let's grab this whole line here. Command copy, command B, and let's end it right after the nav, but before the header closes exactly like they did. So now we should have some pretty similar code here. WordPress has um, a lot of markup that we probably need to edit but let's get everything working correctly. Um, our navigation actually has this nav already, I'm pretty sure. We can double check. So yeah, you see that nav right there. And then if you scroll up, there's another one. So let's go ahead and remove this nav since it's already gonna be included in our walker class. So let's save that and refresh the page. See what we have. All right, it's coming together pretty nicely. You can inspect it and see what's going on. One of the main things we need to do, of course, is to remove this code to make sure that it's not messing with what we're working on. So let's remove that, save, refresh, starting to look good. We still need to edit some things. Let's take out this description. I don't know about you, but I don't I rarely use the description. If you want to use it, you know, you need to add some styling to make it look good. So let's take that description out. Uh, make sure that we're ending PHP tag first. All right. Put that on one line. Save that. Refresh. All right, now we just need to, if we want those links to be on the right hand side, you'll notice in the markup here that they have this spacer after the title. That you, MDL uses Flexbox, and this spacer is actually going to, is what's used to make those go to the right hand side. So right after the title, the site branding, let's put this spacer in here. I'll refresh that. Links are now over there. So other things that we can remove is this button. This is for uh, the starter theme. That's what they used. We can actually remove both of these lines now that we got everything working pretty good. Save that. Refresh. So it's looking pretty good. We need to, we can style the name the same way. You can see here that they wrapped it in MDL layout title. So right now these are links. Actually, if it's on the front page, it's just going to be an H1. 
and any other page it's going to be a, a paragraph tag. So we can play with it a little bit. We can actually, just to see an example, grab this whole code, put this in here, and like comment this line out, or take it out for now. I need to put it on the other line as well. Put that back in there for now. So it's starting to come together and look more like the header. So of course this would need to be styled correctly. You know, maybe instead of the P class we put this span in here. So we could do something like put that in there. Put that in there. I normally just have one line of code here that doesn't do this if statement. Even if it's on the home page, I like to have a link back to it, but it's personal preference. So since it's a link, you see that's getting some some styling in that paragraph tag. It's giving it some bottom margin so we can change that as well. So now that all needs to be done is our personal styling of how we want that link to appear. It's kind of weird that Ma Material Design Lite doesn't have a, a link around their title for some reason. So it's just something that if we want a link on our end, we need to style it correctly. So the next thing to do is create this drawer. So you can see here right after the header, they have this drawer. So we can do the same thing. Copy that right after the header. Put this drawer menu in here. Refresh. So we don't have the icons yet included, but you can see that if you click it, it does work. So now we need to create the markup for that drawer. So if you go back to um, MDL WP, you look at nav drawer, it does pretty much the same thing. So let's grab this code. Put it in here. Move it over a bit. You can see here that I created a new theme location drawer where this was primary. So we need to go into our functions file, find the primary menu here, and let's create a new one. Copy, paste, I'm going to name it drawer and drawer. Save that. So now when we refresh the front end of our site here, and you open this up, you can see that there's some menu items in here because if you go to the dashboard, appearance, menus, you can see we have different menu locations now. We have a primary and a drawer. So you can edit menus, you know, select which one you want, the drawer menu. You can see that I have menu items in here, and this is same as any other WordPress theme, you select which one you want and add it to the menu. You know, just make sure that the theme location is set to drawer and save the menu. Everything should work. So it looks pretty good. We got the menu in there. It's fixed to the top. You can go over the documentation, you know, if you want it different styles. They have they have tons of different styles of menus. That's kind of the one that we're using right now, the fixed one. They have want some that aren't fixed. If you like that style better, you just need to make sure that you have the correct classes in there. It's simple as just adding that scroll class to it. 
So before we end this tutorial, I'm going to go to my terminal here, do a git status. You can see all the files that I've changed there. That looks good. So I'm going to do a git add all uh, git status again to see. Okay, everything looks like it's added. Git commit dash m added mdl main menu git push origin master so that should be committed to our github repository added mdl main menu perfect so the next tutorial will go over adding these icons so everything looks good. But we've got our theme going pretty good now, so stay tuned for the next tutorial.